so it's um, Saturday the 15th of January 6 or 5 a.m. During the week I am up pretty early and on the weekend not that I sleep in but today's um, different because I need to get a haircut before playing squash. Emily says I look fine but yeah like there is zero trim um, anymore so I definitely need to um, make sure I get a haircut. I think it's been about six weeks since I last got a haircut so that's why I'm up this early. I got squash at nine uh, to make sure that I get there in time or to make sure I'm not late for squash I need to get to the barber at 7.15 Hey, I get home talk Hey yo, you sleep up? Yeah, you sleep up? Cross me Where are you going? You got me now You got me now You want to fight? You have to carry your baby you do know you can get down and so. I don't want you to get down by himself. With your baby. Come walk, please. Cheese. Oh. What would you look at? No one's playing with you now. Going now. Yeah, my car is over there. Space for one. So right now I'm at Spindler's, which is um, the establishment where I get my hair cut. As I told you, definitely need a fade. Um, so my boy EJ is going to make sure I look a little bit decent, at least presentable on camera. Thanks to my boy EJ at Spindlers. Um, so yeah, I'm just at the squash courts now. I think I see Simon's car here. So Simon's one of the players that's in my team. Uh, or we've played together. I'm not too sure what's happening this year in terms of teams and stuff like that. But yeah, he's a regular practice partner of mine. I need food, yo. I'm hungry. Testing out the new racket. Yeah. Testing out the new racket. Testing them out, all of them, put them all out. And? Uh, it feels good, eh? I think I like these strings. The red ones? Yeah, I think the Ashway, I think, needs a technical. Oh, okay. No, apparently the Ashways are quite nice. Yeah, but... first time I tried them. Mm. Hello?
you feeling? I'm vlogging today. How are you feeling today, Ruben? <laughs> Yay. V? My light blue is Kaz. He's new to the club. That's the one which is on the service box on the left. We already introduced Simon. Uh, he was receiving, and then we got young Dave serving with a darker blue. He's only 16. Makes a lot of mistakes. That is promising. <laughs> so who's playing racquetball on that one? So then I think we can go there.
Um, a lot's happened actually today. So the first part of the morning was a decent training session with the eight of us. Um, had a good run with Simon, had a good run with um, Russell, the love muscle. Had a good run with Bianca as well. Um, didn't get to, well I got to play with Kaz a little bit. Got to play with young Dave just for a little bit, but uh, not as much as we normally do. But it was just really busy. Quartz really busy. Um, as soon as we were done, the racquetball guys started coming in. Um, but what's actually really significant is obviously it's the beginning of, I wouldn't say it's actually the beginning of the season, it's still pre season technically speaking. And um, I ordered the cross speed, Techni Fiber cross speed 135s. Um, it's a model that's sort of being phased out, but. I play with the old Heritage 125, the one that um, El Shabag used to play with, the yellow and black one. And I think that has transitioned to the Cannonball plus maybe the Airshaft 125, but um, I think the Cannonball is probably the best representation of that record at the moment. The record model obviously is outdated, I think they stopped making them in 2017. So I was looking for something new, uh, found the Crossbeats for you know a decent price. But they didn't have the 125s, which my heritage is. So my heritage is 125, cross speeds were 135. I tried a 130 thinking that it wasn't going to be too much of a difference. So I tried it, I thought it was alright, um, but you know, it was someone else's racket. And I tested it and felt okay, so I thought, well, what's the difference going to be with the 135? Completely different. Um, just the way I naturally swing, um, I don't need obviously that much power, but just with the same speed, you know, hitting that ball was flying off. I felt like I couldn't control it. Um, you know, it'd be great if you're already in a real position to sort of volley, to, to, to kill if it's a very slow game, but with a very fast pace, especially if you're playing a high up number in the second league. And also when you're going to start playing a lot more first league players for training, for practice, for just to, just to get a bit better, it's going to be a bit challenging. But I felt today that I wasn't comfortable, so I tried the first game with them and oh, I think that was the first game with myself and Bianca. Tried that, it was alright, but I had to do a lot of work and it just didn't feel natural like my normal swing would be. Um, I felt like I was overthinking it a lot and it shouldn't be like that when you grab a racket. You get a racket, you pick it up, you should feel like, yep, this is my racket or no, it isn't. And it definitely felt like that and I thought I wanted to give it a better chance or second chance. And so Simon actually has the new Supreme 125s and he told me, well, I've got a second one, try it out. And when I tried that out, I actually fell in love. This is how, I think that feeling that you get when you hold a racket and you swing with it and it just feels right. That's what you should always look for. Um, and I haven't felt that for a while with a racket. I've had that with the similar shape, I think in the Dunlop version. The last racket I played with that I really loved was the Aerogel, the Dunlop Aerogels in 2008, but they broke really easily. I broke one, it was expensive, my parents were like, nope, we're not getting you another one, and then played with my old ones up until the point I could get my own. So I tried um, Simon Supremes, the 125, and I think I, God willing, I'm actually going to move to that. I'll see if I can get someone to take the cross speeds or the X speeds, the 135s from me. Um, obviously use that um, money to buy the Supremes. I'm really hoping so. If not, and up until then, I'll just keep on using my 125s, the Heritage. But yeah, it was a, a hectic session. I think burned 1,193 calories in an hour and a half. So really tired, just going to sort of relax. Anyway, hoping to bring you more of this kind of stuff throughout the weeks and years to come. Obviously it's going to be a long season, we've got the remainder of Summer League right on at the moment. We will have the Gotha League which is sort of like a pre-season tournament up until April and then April Winter League starts and that's the main one. So really gearing up towards that and this will be the preparation up until Winter League. Everything that happens in between now is sort of fine tuning, testing, getting things right, getting the rust out of the system. And then when Winter League starts, that's the big competition, or not really competition, but that's the real test for uh, the squash players in and around PE. But anyway, take care. See you next time. Cheers.